Iridescent minnows often found in home aquariums could help LSU researchers improve production practices on fish farms all while helping the environment thanks to a USDA grant. Twyla's AJ Sabine shows us how this research may open up new markets for Louisiana farms. <laughs> Professor Chris Green and his grad assistants look for signs that their hard work is paying off. Here, the LSU Ag Center along with Virginia Tech and the University of Florida have combined their efforts to improve production of these aquarium fish. Under a two-year, $150,000 USDA grant, Green hopes to improve the production practices of fish farmers here in Louisiana and beyond. It's going to allow us to do research on fish that you see in aquariums mm -hmm. for what people call the ornamental fish trade. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we do out here at the Aquaculture Research Station is associated with things you eat. So crawfish, alligators, catfish, tilapia. Um, this grant's unique in that we're going to take the tools and things we use for those food fish and put them into growing fish that people could see at their local pet store. What you could see at your local pet store are these golden top minnows. You see, researchers look for eggs on these vegetative mats. The science helps to reduce the environmental impact of harvesting these fish in the wild. We're looking at taking some of our reproductive techniques, the things that we do to make baby fish for food fish, and going to put that technology into use for, say, like the golden top minnow or a rainbow darter. Other fish that you might not be familiar with, but some of the native ornamental people could be really excited about. Food fish profit margins have declined in Louisiana over the past several years. However, the growing popularity of ornamental fish could reverse the trend as demand swells. Within the United States, one of the biggest centers for the ornamental fish industry is Florida, is Hawaii. Because of their tropical climates, because of their access to saltwater as well as freshwater, you see a huge boom in those aquaculture industries in those states. Um, ask any kid on the street if they've seen Finding Nemo. They want those colorful aquarium fish and the ability to reproduce them and not harvest them from the wild is what's going to be able to give that sustainable production in the future. Green explains that the ultimate goal is to identify which native ornamental species do well mm -hmm. in captivity, mm -hmm. such that fish farmers here in Louisiana could take advantage of that market. One of the things we're doing is we're looking specifically at a few different species that are very pretty, that have either an easy ability to hold and reproduce in captivity, as well as we have in the future, we have some other harder ones. Hopefully that will provide an, an animal base that people won't have to go tromp through the woods or go through, you know, restricted areas mm -hmm. and, and catch these fish from the wild. Instead of your local bayou, these golden top minnows could be coming to a pet store near you. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm A.J. Sabine. According to the 2013 USDA Census of Aquaculture, farmers in the U.S. produce more than $41.5 million in ornamental fish. Fish farms in Louisiana and Arkansas produce koi and goldfish for aquariums. For more information about Dr. Green's work, you can log on to our website at twilighttv.org.